In today's video, we're going to take a look at using Elementor Pro Seriously Simple Podcasting plugin to get your single post podcast templates configured and set to a global dynamic display. Wow, what a mouthful. Basically, at the end of the day, what this means is if you're using Seriously Simple Podcasting plugin and the Elementor Pro plugin, you can style and design your podcast posts to look different than, let's say, your regular blog post or your pages. And of course, again, the caveat being you need Elementor Pro to do what I'm about to show you today. Um, but once you have that available to you and your inside Seriously Simple podcast plugin, you import the templates with one click of a button. It'll go ahead and import all the templates that we have for Elementor. In the last video I did on this, I showed you the two free templates that, uh, that work with Elementor Free that come with Seriously Simple podcasting plugin. That's for your subscribe page and a single archive uh, podcast page. And now the power of Elementor Pro is that you have a theme builder. Uh, in other words, you can style different looks and views of pages um, on a global scale. Let's take a look at what that has to do. So here I am in Elementor's theme builder. You can see right here, I have this one already active, so I'm gonna click on it. It's gonna show us a little bit of a preview here and pay attention to the bottom. This is the dynamic condition part where it says instances podcasts. When I click on that, it says, where do you want to display your template? And right now I have it set to podcast. And when I click on it, you can see it's the podcast post type under the custom post type podcast. So any custom post type, any podcast that I make with Seriously Simple Podcast plugin will show up like this, but I could add this, I could make it my posts. So if you're using Elementor Pro and Seriously Simple Podcasting, and maybe you don't use our custom post types, but you just use regular old blog posts for your episodes, well, you can use Elementor's uh, theme builder to dynamically display what the template I'm about to show you today, or a specific category. So maybe you're using posts, but when you give it the category podcast, you want it to look a special way. That's what we're gonna look at right here. So let's exit this page. I'm going to go back into the theme builder. And much like our other templates, um, it's sort of just taking the design work out of it for you. So we make these ready-made templates that templates, the number one look good, but number two, to save you time when you're building out your podcast site. So let's collapse this. You can see right here, we have uh, a hero image loaded into the background. This will be any image that you use for a featured image on your podcast post. Remember, this is for dynamically loading across all posts. This is the template. It's the framework for displaying posts um, using Seriously Simple Podcasting plugin. And then we give the post title, maybe in your case, the show episode name. So Hello World is just a placeholder, the date of when you might publish it. And then we place the player prominently right there, right up front uh, for the reader or visitor of your website to see. So that's statically in there. Download file, play a new window buttons, clearly indicated there for people who wanna download this stuff on the go. And then our next major call to action, subscribe on with all of the major podcast um, platforms for folks to subscribe on. And then show notes, which would just be the blog post of your, uh, or the editor post of just your podcast, right? So if you want to put in your show notes, you want to put in a summary, other media, that's going to be loaded up right here. And then lastly, we round out the template with a, another call to action, the stay connected part, jump on an email list, right? Because a great way to measure the success of a podcast other than just watching downloads go up is getting people onto an email list so that you can market to them or reach out to them in other ways. Or again, let's double up with the, don't forget to listen to us on all of these other platforms. Sometimes people are, you know, they hear a guest on your show or they come across your show, somebody shared it. They listen to it like, wow, this was actually pretty good. We want to make sure that they can clearly subscribe to you on all of these major platforms. You don't wanna miss a beat, no pun intended. Uh, you don't want your listeners to miss a beat. So we make it as clear as possible. Now, because this is Elementor, you can modify this stuff. You can change it around if you wanna change the location, if you wanna like say fully remove even this entire section. You might say, you know what? I don't want that download file. I don't want that open up a new window. That's okay. 
You just delete that entire section, obviously through the power of Elementor. And I won't have to sell you on Elementor. If you're an Elementor Pro user, you probably already know this stuff. And this is just a small tweak to that template. And then you hit update. Now, every blog post or every podcast post is going to load this template. Let's take a look at that. Let's see what that looks like. So we'll exit to dashboard. We'll go to podcasts, all episodes, terrifying tales of tech. We'll take a look at that one. There it is, right? So it's using my featured image in the background, which is a microphone for this one. Terrifying tales of tech is the, the, po the post title. I have the episode here right in the center to play subscribe on right all the major platforms the show notes which is just in the description uh and then the stay connected part right everything tightly uh wound up in this nice little template and just to show you the clear difference there's no styling on this it's just an empty hello uh the the, the wordpress theme is called hello by elementor uh, but just to show you a quick example, so here's my regular blog post, just hello world, right? It's just nothing here. There's no styling here. Again, this is the, the sort of uh, base theme for Elementor, but this is a blog post not loading that style I just went and showed you. If we go into Elementor, uh, let's just go podcast, all episodes, view, edit with Elementor, or actually open up Theme Builder. And we'll add the conditions to include, sorry, add condition, posts, save and close. Now, this is going to load this template on all podcast posts and all post posts. <laughs> uh, so let's close that. Go to the dashboard, all posts, hello world. There it is, right? So now you can kind of see if this is your first time seeing like dynamic conditions and setting this stuff up, you can just see there, it was the old hello world with absolutely no styling. And then I told Elementor, hey, every time we load a blog post, use the Seriously Simple Podcast podcast theme, which it's doing here. It's the same logic that we're doing with the custom post types for Seriously Simple Podcasting. It's why it loads it every time. It's dynamic conditions only on Elementor Pro only using Seriously Simple Podcast plugin. Remember, we ship these three templates as of right now. We ship these three templates uh, for the single podcast post, for the subscribe page, and for an archive page. If you wanted to just have one page for all of your uh, podcasts, we have these templates ready to go for you. It's just a nice little value add for using Seriously Simple Podcasting. It's one of the best plugins you can use for not one of, the only. It's the best <laughs> plugin you can use for podcasting in WordPress. Thumbs up if you like the video, have some questions, post them in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you want more podcast, WordPress, Elementor stuff, youtube.com slash castos. All right, we'll see you in the next video.